Hello there, welcome back to EU4. I'm playing as the Netherlands. It is 1739. In the last episode, I finally took on Savoy and captured Vlanderen and Ghent from then, allowing me to finish my Reclaim the Lowlands mission. Uh, the next one is the Lowlands Reconquest, but that means it's going to take land from Britain as well as more from Savoy. And I think that's going to be a bit tricky. Because even taking those two provinces, I risk a bit of a coalition. It's hard taking land in Europe, it really is. The first is another ability. Uh, I might take on naval engagement. Increases my global naval engagement. Okay, let's do that. Japan is now my new rival. Jeez, we some random choices for rivals, that's for sure. Yeah, my army has made it back to Penang. Actually. You guys gotta fix up this issue in Garantalo while you're here. Start a new war with Malacca very soon. Who are they allied with at the moment? Brunei and Champa. That's okay. I can manage that. Again, it's got a little bit of an uprising issue, but not much. I think it's mostly from the missionary. Managing this reasonably well. Limburg can use a stock exchange, so I'll build that. And we'll use a counting house. And we'll just continue spending money willy nilly because I can. Conversion, let's get Vlander and converted. Huh. These guys are meant to be going here. Not sure what that was all about. Your landing, please. Let's get these two provinces back from these separatists. Like so. Still five years ahead of tech, so nothing to do there for the time being. Den Haag is now 60 development. Another STEAM achievement City of Cities. I'm getting quite a few done this game. Canals and turnpikes. Bad roads have long been a limiting factor for economic growth in Overstick, severely hampering the transfer of goods, people and capital. Looking to other areas, local entrepreneurs have begun to introduce toll roads to pay for maintenance and there are far gone plans of building transportation canals to further ease the local flow of goods. Oh yeah. It's a worthy goal, they have our patronage, I'll give them two grand to do it. Very good. Okay, I got these two places back. Jane guy so discontent, how dare they? Get another idea. Camp followers. 
Moving through the lands with a force like ours is a large task. Luckily, as the army swells, so does the well, so does as well the trainer camp followers that provide and service the army. So my national supply limit modifier is plus 33%. Not really sure what that means. Might take on that policy. Superior supply system. Gives me less land attrition. I think that's a pretty good idea for me right now. The missionary strength at the cost of institution spread. That's a pretty good one. So there's no more institutions to worry about. Okay. The question is how much army will I need to take on Malacca? Do I need to get another army in? Probably don't. Let's just try and run these two armies. Or one split army. Oh, the, the heavy ships at home. That's unfortunate. How and why did that happen? Can't. Hmm, that's annoying. Uh, they've all supported their friends long enough. Landerin's been converted. France is fully sieged down. I'm still hoping to see them just disappear. How can that be something of a sight? Although Britain's got a few issues. We have a peasant uprising. There's two less troops in this army. Why is it half? Oh, I'm confused. What is going on with my armies? That's right, because I mixed them up and split them up and I've grabbed the wrong halves. Well, that's frustrating, isn't it? thing. We need an infantry and a horse. Okay. Now that explains that little problem that I made for myself. and are rallying their troops to fix their own internal problems. It's kind of a bad thing that my armies are half-half when I think about it. It's not the end of the world. Where's that fleet? Almost there. Okay, they've made it. Let's get them an admiral. Let's get this guy his own general. Let's have admin points to spend. Spend in Amsterdam. Okay. How am I going to do this? I'll just take this half first. Declare war on Malacca. My war goal will be Imperialism. Let's confirm that. In we go. My 
Admiral got his traits straight away. He's having a few good little... I think everybody's having a few good little naval victories. Oh, I found that army in there. Lower morale. I can take advantage of that quite swiftly. And I did. Try and hunt them down for the stack wipe. Get the ring way faster than I can, but I'm gonna catch up to him. And they still got no morale, so this should be a quick battle. Oh, they're still going. Let's try and cut them off. These guys just won't die. There they go, at last. Uh, I guess I'll take this from one end to the other. Got some hostile sieges. Oh yeah, Brunei, that's fine. Nine, minus 99% war well, siege process. That's taken ages. Trade crisis. Our merchants report that they are facing stiffening resistance from trying to peddle their wares. They are talking like it is the end of the world and fear they'll never earn a copper again in life. Uh, I'll try to alleviate them and give them 25 Diplo power. Let's begin the siege of their capital, their new capital. Ming, how does Ming feel about me at the moment? No, not too bad, so improve relations with Ming. Just from a safety point of view. the capital done with and I'll polish up their navy as it gets released into the ocean. Brandenburg want access, sure, let's just... Oh, France have changed their icon. That means the revolution was put down, I'm guessing. They've only got four provinces left. Plus their colonies, I guess, but wow. Alright, let's uh, go land on this island and we'll start taking that. We look weak. Huh. Properly civilized countries do not allow petty commoners to attempt any kind of serious thought. The eyes of the world are upon us, and the world does not like what it sees. And he's temporary, we lose five prestige. Okay. Not really sure what they're talking about, to be honest. Guys, up, make this go quicker. Ah, Dutch Australia have made it, or at least their fleet has. Good to see them joining the fun. Gayer has been sieged down, predictably. To remove this army. Good to see you made it to Australia, but you're on the wrong island. We've already seized that place. Alright, get them to going for the kill. They need backup, they've got it, but. It looks like they're pretty good. Go for the stack wipe. Done. Split these guys up and take province each.
Hmm. We have some peasants uprising. I don't like the look of that. We have 20... Oh, we've lost the siege. They finally took that one province. Destroyed that peasant army. Dutch Australia, do you reckon you can take on that place for me? Try and take on that too, and I'll focus on Brunei. Australia, you don't need to be up there. Unless you're going for Champa. Okay. You guys can get Champa then. Knock yourselves out. Let's go get Kuching back. Who's that? Kutai have taken these two provinces. That's interesting. I need to declare war on you. Take them for myself. Since uh, Portugal gave them up. An astonishing performance. Recently, a young female troubadour who has won fame across Europe for her unconventional music was invited to perform at your court. The sight of her costume prompted the entire room to gasp. Her songs had countless instances of thinly disguised innuendo and references to unconventional sex acts. At one point, the Archbishop turned scarlet and stormed out of the room. The performance concluded, all eyes turned to you to hear your response. I say provocative and mesmerizing commentary again on romance and gender in contemporary society. 20 admin points. On siege. Let's just go help with that. Um, Dutch Australia, what are you doing? I want you to take barley, please. You seem to be taking your time in doing so. Ming happy? Would Ming take an alliance? No. Oh, hang on. Huh. If it wasn't at war, they would. No taxes for tyrants. The Oranges already wield great influence over the Dutch rule. And the latest developments in the political arena have only served to strengthen the grip on our supposed republic. Some of our previously loyal subjects have taken this as a sign that the priorities of the Netherlands have shifted and that time is coming when tax money will be wasted on vain pursuits of noble families. Down this road, they claim by only petty wars and tyranny. In protest, many people are refusing to pay taxes to support this government. Fine. I don't need your money. Let's go clean up this little army here. I can probably end this war right now, and I'll just take both of these provinces for myself. 
Thank you. Call them up. Oh, what's this? Champa! What are you doing to me? Come on, Dutch Australia. Maybe I will summon another army. Send this fleet home. Oh, then they can't move though. No, I can't do that because I'll be stuck in that island. Ah! It's upsetting. Alright, let's just try and knock a Brunei out of the war. How about we start with that? We just make sure that they can't cross there. Hmm, I still have issues up in Brabant, do I? I do. Okay, put them down, please. I can't put mechanism any further. How about that? this massive siege on myself. I guess I can help by blockading there. Okay. Well, I might pause it there. Uh, I guess I should have brought more army into this war, but it is what it is. I'm not going to lose it. This is going to take a bit longer than I thought. Uh, but until next time, though, I've got to get rid of Champa. Till next time, thanks for watching guys, appreciate your support, hope to see you next episode.